one of the things that our district did was that we became the creator of our very own units of study with the integration of Common Core Standards. And so our very own teachers are the ones who are putting the resources together, uh, by again, by following the Common Core Standards. And there's been a lot of professional development that has been provided to our schools, both at the school level as well as at the district level. Our district has really committed in identifying teachers at the site levels who are experts in these areas, as well as recruiting some of them at the district level who are spearheading along with Ed Services for these units to be developed. And so that creates a lot of buy-in. And when teachers recognize that it is their own colleagues that are the ones that are putting it all together, there's more validity to what they are doing and they feel more assured that it's realistic and it's do that it's doable because it's coming from them. I believe that one of the reasons why we have experienced success had to do with the collaboration that existed between administration and between our, the union and the message that was sent out that we were going to start this process just by trying it out and getting our feet wet with it and that no one was going to be evaluated on it. The advice that I would give district leaders that are embarking on a journey such as the one that we have been on would be to take it one step at a time. You don't learn it all in one day, little by little, and you will begin to see a transformation taking place. I think for a pedagogical transformation to take place, it really takes an intersection of the two. You have to not only think about the technical aspects of, of deploying tablets, but you have to think about how does this impact instruction, and, and what do we do with our curriculum that we already have, and how do we integrate this and along with the Common Core Standards. So I try to incorporate technology into everything that I do. I communicate a lot with emails, we use GoToMeeting, um, we model for principals, I go to principals meetings to make sure that they're being coached as well. So I go to principal's office, I do discipline with kids, you know, what, whatever it takes, I can configure an iPad. If I was advising another school district about how to start this transformation, it would be hire the right people, hire enough people, collect data, and celebrate success. The classroom of the future is, is here, and the one of the old industrial model is dead. If you're still doing that, you're doing a disservice to your community. You need to make transformation soon and now. Number one, we got to do better than just handing out high school diplomas. So what's the big umbrella? Preparation for college career and citizenship. So you got to incorporate technology into uh, under that umbrella to make sure that's a part of your education system. Then you also got to make sure you have a curriculum that's relevant and academies that are relevant. So again, students see that when I go into the real world, I've already experienced how to be a uh, school police officer or uh, to, to work in a uh, robotics factory or to build drones. They already know how to do that. So we want to make sure everything is relevant and it's going to be what they see in the real world and the world that they're going to help create. You know, help them be creative, collaborative, you know, critical thinkers and to be able to communicate. So we want to put all that under that umbrella of preparation for college, career, and citizenship. It all came together brilliantly. I think you have to be a servant leader and a collaborative leader.